In Mary's vow, there were two lines that so powerful. First was when she said, I see God's promise when I look at you. And then the other was, I will be faithful to you as I am to the Lord. For people who have intimate relationship with God, these lines are so personal and powerful. When God is mentioned, it will always be the highest form. So kapag sinabi sa'yo na nakikita niya ang pangako ng Diyos kung tinitignan ka niya, that means she sees you as her greatest blessing. Kasi pangako ng Diyos yun eh. You are very blessed to be married to a woman like this. To be married to Mary. I would say you're lucky. Luck is underrated word. You are blessed and beyond lucky to have this kind of partner you will be spending the rest of your life. If ever time comes na you're being tested, remember those two lines in her vow. Nothing will ever be worth risking your marriage. Way back where we first met, they say when you start your day with a coffee, your day will be complete. But without a clue, mine is a whole different story. Because through coffee, I met you and my life is good. Earl and Mary, I know people are praying for you. Your parents, your relatives and friends, they are praying for you. And we thank you today for you are a witness to us. You witness to God's love, the sacrament of matrimony. I remember when I had my quarter life crisis. I was so lost and confused, uninspired, and I felt I was trapped. I didn't even know what career path I would choose, not even happy with my achievements in life. I even asked God sometimes, what's my purpose in life? And then suddenly you came along. I couldn't even tell how grateful I am, because when I was losing hope, God gave me someone who will hold my hand and walk with me to my I can't wait to see you, my baby. I love you. I hope you like my gift. See you, baby. Earl. May may panggulat na tayo. Mang video ng gulat. Thank you for believing in me and for choosing to stay during my worst days. I would gladly say that, Mary, you are my answer. I will give you the blood of my chicken because Basha and life popoy for that. But most of all, Mary, I promise to love you for the rest of our lives without any conditions. I love you. I made this vow um, last December 21, 2019. On that day, I knew it's you. It was just an ordinary day when I suddenly felt it. And this word, Follow wholeheartedly. Oh, di ba? Matagal na ako ready. Nagyo na yan. Nagyo na namin na gagay. I always remember every moment you made me feel loved more than the times you said I love you. I rejected you few times, Paradise, sa lakas ng fighting spirit mo. We are here standing in front of our family, friends, and our Lord. 
making promise, believing, and claiming that our love will last forever. Um, the goodness and respect in your heart is really evident to your mom, sisters, tita, even our friends. Never ka kumuna ka palit. And those actions help me to have inner peace that I'm indeed with a good man. I can really stay in a favorite ako ni Lord kasi binigay ka niya sa buhay ko. Sobrang na-overwhelm ako with your love. So what more could I ask for? May God bless our marriage and our hearts to be forgiving and loving as we enter this new chapter of our lives. I love you.